down there. Pretty cool, man. What's going on here? Well, we had a little camp camperator here, <laughs> and I was use I uh, I used a, a long known technique that has worked for me. I, I bugled him in with the toilet paper in my hand. <laughs> huh? How do you like that uh, <laughs> 17? It works pretty well. Got to be honest. I need to check the status of this sucker. Normally, I run the bolt. So that's <laughs> that's a cross. Or hybrid. Crossbox. Crossbox. That's so were right. you going for number two and then you saw a little friend here or what? Yeah. Yeah, I called it in. <laughs> Lured it. You can oh, feel free to check that thing if you want, but chamber's empty. Cool. Nice job, Tim. Right on. I want to I was just letting him finish up before I touched him. Man, they're just amazing. Yeah, let's not get rabies. No. I don't want to do that again. Look at the tail, man. Almost got him while he's taking number two. He's just there and fruit, uh -huh. you know. And he was just like, oh, you want to do that? And he goes, punk, and looks right back at me. Right the All I hear is, Brian, can you hear me? And I'm like, did someone just say my name? Yeah. I'm can in the tent, and he's like, if you here, can, that thing up. He's good. want to bring that 17 over here? What's the best way by the... Oh, I got it behind the hind feet. I don't know how the rest of them works. Oh, yeah. Oh wow! Oh, How pretty that is. Nice looking fox wow, you got there. Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful fox. Beautiful. Black How cool is that? Right on, guys. You want to snap a photo, James? Wow. Nice job. Very cool. That is really cool. I'm not jealous at all. Not at all. <laughs> we got them. What's Thank great, you, sir. What's Thank funny about this? Good start to the day. Yeah, it's a great way to what's, start. What's the funny day. about this is every 10 feet, Tim's like. I see. I think I see a fox. I think I see a fox. <laughs> so that if we see a fox, Tim can claim it for his own. See, I'm sitting there, and I don't typically tend to go to the bathroom up here without right. my bear. Yeah. And I was like, well, if I don't tell anybody what's going on, and then this 44 barks, <laughs> it's going to get a little wild around here, I think. So. Yeah, did you just see him come across the flat, or was he just sitting there uh, staring at you? He was, uh, I don't know, 30, 20, 30 yards from me. Really? Just mimicking me. Sitting, huh? Mm-hmm. When, uh, when um, Cole started coming over here, did it, did uh, the fox, like, move? Well, it, did, so... Because he ended up over here when you took the shot. Yeah, he was, he'd come straight across this flat, is my assumption, because he was pointed right at me when I was here. And... I just sat there and looked at him and debated for a second and kind of finished. What was the deal with the headlamp? Like, you turned Well, to... I, I turned mine, as he started coming across, I just turned mine on because you could see eyes so I could oh. keep track of him because oh, he kept oh. turning and looking back. I didn't want to start chasing him. Just using the, the light to keep his eye, keep, see the glint in his eyes. So I could keep track of where he was because this grass is so tall. And, uh, That's cool, man. I kept looking back and then Cole came out and he says, should be right over beautiful. Here. And then I Greater. thought I turned it off. You know, he's like, your lamp's still on. Like, oh, shoot. It's off now? Because there's not enough light to tell when it's on or when it's not, you know? Nice work, dude. Thank you. Yeah, it's bright enough. I couldn't tell I had it still on. So he's like, nope, turn it off. Turn it off. That gun Which is the right rocking. thing. Yeah. Yeah, the 17s are great, man. Don't. And that's definitely not a 30-pounder by any means. But Still. It's fox size. Man, you're, you're smoking it on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like Alaska. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> That's one way to start the day. Yeah, I like that one. I grabbed the gun, I was gonna go grab you guys. He was already, he dropped it off. <laughs> cool little dude, man. Yeah, that is super cool. Right. It's a good start to a good day. Yeah. I'm sure it's clean. I just wanted to see a fox like this. You know, got the fox, got the 
These two have deer tags. Yep. Deer tags. And we all and this have guy has a shot of fox. Yeah. Fox. Mm -hmm. You could beat feed it up to there if you wanted to go look up river. There is uh, some possibilities up there for sure. But there is a creek you gotta cross. Yeah. So and it's gonna be up. Alright. Let's see if I can run this across and get back without falling. What are you thinking there, bud? Big day. Oh, big day. I'm just excited about this blue sky, man. This is going to be compared yeah. to yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to see them all over the place today. I can feel it, man. Yeah. Just that one deer up high. You dreaming of big buckies, Michael? Oh, I've been dreaming about them. <sighs> Replaying it in my mind. It, it, that's a graze. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> right through the fluff. They're like owls. The, the actual hitting part. So that shot. It's like it went through the vitals. Went through the shoulder. And that was the first. One. It's back and there, there. out there. A little hair coming out. Pretty sweet, eh? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. They're pretty sneaky with it. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. See so you'd feel this thing then. Oh, check that out. Just the wow, the face on it, dude, like. Deer like everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at a big three by two. Jeez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he had matching three by sides, there'd be no doubt about it. Boy. He'd be a stud. He just looks like he's got an attitude. Yeah, he's limping right now. Is he? Yeah, yeah he's one of his small legs. So, like I said, he's got an attitude. <laughs> I think we've got a ton of bucks to choose from. Yeah. It's just a matter of figuring out which one fits or fancy. Mm -hmm. Now it's getting to the point where 
so many of them look the same that you're trying to pick out just the slightest little difference but to make you go well. after one. Yeah. All right. Are they in the same area? Yeah, they're side by side. They're splitting up right now, but... Mm. One of them is three by two. Kind of that same category as that one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a look at this guy. He's in a bad spot to see much. So he's, on, he's in a snow patch. Oh, I see him. Yeah, back to his right about 30 yards. There's two at least. Definitely one. And there's one down. Or just that closest you know, working in the snow patch and then my that big buck I just saw walked into into a brush patch so let's see if he walks out okay so if he bets down. and to the right of those two does in the fawn and slightly towards us over a over a top yeah there's two more deer yeah over a patch of uh, willows And there's another one to the further to the right and back up against almost up against the bottom of the hillside. Yeah, so he's a three by. Boy, they just disappear in that tall grass, man. Yep. Yeah, he's got good. He's a good, very good deal. Uh oh, that's three things. Width, height, mass. And great front. And great fronts, uh oh. Now it's grand slam. How far are you comfortable shooting? Are we talking like two, three? I shot, I shot, you know, just over three. I've never tried to shoot anything further than that. Very comfortable with three? Yeah. Because there's that layer of brush between us and that hillside. So if he goes on the other side of that brush, we can't close the gap. Yeah. Only oh. so much. Because in the brush, I'll be in the way. Yep. Um, there's one small rise right here between us. I don't know if we'll be able to see him from here. Or if we have to go on up to the next little rise. Okay. 
นะสตาร์ทที่เดียร์ว้าวนี่คือสิ่งที่ดีที่สุดของโลกว้าวนี่คือ <laughs> Very similar to that shed we saw yesterday, you know. Mm -hmm. They broke off this one early. Hmm. Congratulations! Thanks a lot, man. That's awesome. <laughs> they yeah. are compact. Nice work. <laughs> it's always great to when you first get hands on them, just to really see them. You know, you see them so much in the distance, and yeah. pretty stoked, eh? No, it's great. <sighs> Kind of weird how their tips turn that group that brown. What do we got? It's for entrance. Entrance one there. Yeah. Kind of uphill angle. It's got such a short neck. All right. So European mount, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going here, guys? Pretty good. It's looking good. It's not dark out, so. About ready to eat? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, fish owl. No. Does that go up to these? No. No. Yeah, that one actually. Now do this. It's not as cool looking probably because it got buckles in the way, but hey. <laughs> Still uh head on your back. Strapping it on like it's a elk. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job today guys. Good job yourself. Got her done. <laughs> you know you got something in your pack and you gotta do the sit and stand. Yeah. <laughs> Buck down. <laughs> now we got a downhill walk all the way back, which is awesome. <laughs> Love it. Sweet. Game on. Glad it's soaked. You can't contain it. <laughs> I'm glad it's uh, cold out. Yeah. Taking it all in there, Michael. It's crazy, you know. Yeah. Some of this you just didn't see the first few days, but once the wind's not blowing in your face, oh and yeah, I mean totally calm now. I thought it was a good idea to go far from camp, but <laughs> <laughs> you always doubt that after a while when you're calling something back. Yeah. That's all right. These are the days you remember. You guys are animals. The good thing is it looks like it's pretty much Oh, 
So, I like to keep the feet on, so it takes a while when I do this. Because I keep the legs, the feet, everything. So I'm like twisting everything inside out. As yeah, I, I like that too. Okay. Is that a male or a female? It's a great question. It's a bit bigger than mine, isn't it? Yeah. The silvers are bigger. Are they? Yeah. Got some poop coming out. Yeah, the silvers are a lot bigger than the reds. So the crosses are good. The crosses are kind of, kind of tweeners. I'm gonna go get my little pad. Oh, genius, man. All right, folks. Thanks for watching this week's video. I'm joined today by my brother, the Gritty Broman over here. Brent, how are you, Brent? I'm well, thank you. Good. Uh, what did you think of the film? Um, I, as much as I want to go to Cody, like I like Blacktails. First of all, grew up in Oregon. Yeah. Most of the big gay battles I have shot have been Blacktails. I want to go. I want to go on some foxes now. Yeah, the foxes. I've got were, an itch for foxes. The foxes were cool, and on this one we went down a little bit of a rabbit hole. Brent does anyway. He's he's tasked with like kind of figuring out some of the facts and information about the island and about the animals on the island. All the alarming Chinese facts <laughs> is me going on people's blogs and finding some right. scary things. Right. So, uh, yeah. So he learned quite a bit about foxes. Um, alarmingly more than I ever thought in my life I would know. Yeah. We actually took on the island when we were there, we took a red fox, a cross fox, and a silver fox, one of each. You guys hit the trifecta. We did. Who shot the... Oh, Tim shot two, didn't he? Tim was selfish, and he got two. <laughs> and Michael didn't get... Michael didn't get any foxes. Although Michael could have shot one, he just didn't want to shoot it with his large caliber rifle and just, like, he's like, well, if I'm going to shoot it with a giant rifle, I don't know if I want to do it. Wing it. So he um he passed because he didn't want to put a hole through it the size mm -hmm. of a baseball, <laughs> and uh, we were using an HMR seventeen, which was pretty cool little round, only really effective within a hundred yards, roughly. Yeah, but it's like a laser beam. Yeah, sure. it is pretty cool, and it doesn't really it did nothing to the coat. You could hardly even mm -hmm. see um a bullet entry at all. It was just and it just like it just boom, they just hit the ground. Mm -hmm. Crazy little. It's like shooting a BB gun, though. Pop. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's got a weird sound to it too. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like you hear the the percussion from a gun. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of predator hunting or like small game with a gun like that. Um, but on the island, that's what we were toting around for. In the case that we saw a fox, and we shot three. I got the red one, and Tim got the cross fox and the silver fox. Now the silver fox was my favorite. Yeah. It's just cool, almost all black with those silver tips. Pretty cool. And then the the cross was my, I don't know, the cross and the red. I kind of like my red fox a little more than the cross fox. See, I think I would like a cross. They're both cool. They're all cool. They're all amazing. Uh huh. But I couldn't say uh, which I like the most. So the silver traditionally is the most sought after. Mm -hmm. And it was actually in Russia. They have a domesticated silver fox breed. That's basically, they jacked a bunch of them from Kodiak, <laughs> took them over there, and then bred them like dogs. I mean, they're bigger, though, too. A lot bigger. The mm -hmm. silver foxes just seemed a lot bigger than mm -hmm. the red foxes that we saw. Um, and the cross fox, the biggest was definitely the, the silver. And we got that just as we were loading boats to leave. Mm -hmm. On the very last day, this fox just came in, sat down right at the edge of our camp, and... and <laughs> I felt a little bad for it, you know, and Tim, pop. Tim, and, uh, no no mercy. <laughs> Tim was, all Tim wanted from this whole hunt were foxes. Was that because of him or because Reza it requested? Was, it was both him and Reza for sure, both wanting, uh -huh. him and his wife. Um, his wife definitely sent him down with specific instructions to come mm -hmm. back with some foxes. So he, he got two really cool foxes. I got one. One of he's going to need to go back so he can get one someday. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to go back and uh, with your hunting license, you're allowed to take two or three foxes, I think, with your license. So, mm -hmm. and then the island has, uh, you were saying it's mostly red fox mm -hmm. and then cross and then silver being the least population wise. Population least, least. Mm -hmm. But we mostly saw silver fox. The whole. That's that I, I want to say I saw more silver fox than any other when that's I was cool. there. Um, maybe so you just got lucky. Maybe 
I don't know. There is one animal fact that has not made it into the into the films yet, mm-hmm. and I don't think it is going to make it into the films because we've <laughs> now used up all of the fox footage. Okay, what's the fact? The largest fox on record. Mm-hmm. Guess how much it weighed. So now remember, Tim says in the thing like a thirty pounder, like a thirty pound fox is a trophy fox. Yeah. So what do you think the largest fox on record ever was? Mm, I'm just gonna go forty. Forty eight. Wow. Mm-hmm. It was shot in Scotland. The guy that shot it is holding it up, and the thing is literally as tall as him. <laughs> wow. He's not a, tall. He's like five That's two. a big, big. That's like a coyote. Yeah. It looks like a coyote, huh. but it's like violet red. That's one thing about fox fur is it's crazy soft and mm-hmm. also warm. I think um, we researched it on a scale of, of one to ten. There's a softness scale, if yeah. you don't know. It has a name, but it's French, so we can't pronounce uh, yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, foxes are a nine out of a ten. The only thing that was really higher than the fox was the a sheared beaver, mm-hmm. like where they pull out the guard hairs and then it's just the fur underneath that's the inner fur. Uh, but like they were on par with lynx, sable, the fox is right up there with them, and one of the most highly sought after furs. Not not for a few reasons, but warmth, color, um, and then. Texture. It's mm-hmm. glamorous. <laughs> it's glamorous. For- so anyway, really cool. Really cool. So this week we're giving away a canvas cutter ultralight bedroll. And all you got to do to be entered to win is leave a comment below. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. And you are entered to win. It's the new uh, ultralight canvas cutter bedroll. It's pretty cool. Like pad, sleeping bag, pillow, roll, the whole thing together, sub five pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, and we did a podcast on it earlier. We dropped uh, a couple days ago. Check that out if you want to learn more about it. But you're entered to win just by leaving a comment, and it helps us out. It helps us uh, beat those YouTube algorithms, and it helps our get our content out there for everybody to see. So mm-hmm. leave us a comment, and then share it. Share it on your social channels if you can. And if you share it on Instagram, you are going to be entered to win a Merino hoodie from Mountain Ops, which I wore pretty much throughout most of the season last mm-hmm. year. I love that thing. Comfy merino hoodie. It's hard to beat merino wool. If you want to win that hoodie, share this film on your social media channels, on your Instagram specifically, and uh, tag us in it, and we're going to pick a winner. And we're giving away a Hoyt bow right now, a Hoyt RX4 Ultra. It's what I shot all last year. It's legit. It retails for $1,750. And to be entered to win that, you just come and become a supporter over on our Locals page, Locals.com. Go to gritty.locals.com. Go sign up. Pitch in $7 a month, and you are entered to win the bow. And we're doing giveaways every month to everyone in that community supporting us directly. And you'll have access to exclusive film and podcast content over there. We're getting ready to drop some really cool footage over there. I think we got three films we're working on that we're going to try to drop by the by mid to late April. And uh, all you got to do to see that and what's there already. We have a film there with Ryan and, and Hillary and Paley Lampers. And uh, it's kind of a tag. It's, a, it's a, like a bonus video, mm-hmm. bonus film to the hunt we did uh, earlier in the year on Paley's first first mule deer buck. And it's a cool piece. Of it's also content. a little more graphic because we get to put it up behind that. Yeah. And, and no one's going to get mad about it. Yep. And We're that bring- community is growing and it's getting pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You're going to see um, over there, you get to see, you get to interact, share posts, share your content, share pictures, ask questions, meet other hunters. And that community is growing. I want to participate on it more. And I will, as we grow, we'll have live streaming capability and I'll be able to sit yeah. down with Lampers. We, he and I plan to sit down and on that gritty, stealthy community, we're going to sit there and do uh, some live streams with everyone who's a supporter. And I think uh, we're going to be able to get a more face-to-face interactive thing going with that, with those that are in that community. If you're interested in that, come join us. It's cool. It's a little awkward to get the hang of, and we're going to drop a little film, a little video here and there saying, Hey, this is how locals works. And, uh, but to get there, it's pretty simple. Just type gritty.locals.com into your web browser. And once you're in there, it's kind of easy from there. If you've become a supporter, but you've been too shy to make a post, don't be. Just start sharing your stuff. The more people sharing and, and engaging and meeting each other, the cooler it is. Share a pic of your family. Share a pic of your trophies. Share a pic of your whatever. 
share your workouts. I don't care. It's I'm I'm just I'm just enjoying seeing what everyone is sharing as I scroll through and reading the comments and some of it's uh, you know educational talking about tags and what's available and all the way down to this is my daughter's first elk mm-hmm. you know so me and Jim Waddell we were having a, we're having a lengthy discussion about <laughs> liver pills right now yeah so join us over there if you want to become a paid supporter and uh, again it helps us avoid corporations and big tech helps us uh, try to become more and more independent so we are not reliant on on those uh, platforms and those in those corporations so we appreciate all of that so we said we'd give away a bunch of mountain ops it was all mountain ops last week for leaving a comment and for sharing the video and we picked someone on uh, YouTube and for for to, to receive basically mountain ops uh, ignite and some slumber mm-hmm. some a little pick you up and a little put you to bed uh, pack right there and Brent went through scrolled through the comment and he found one and uh, here we go we have a random comment here and the winner is Ron Fine Ron Fine I'm sure he's a fine man congratulations Ron Fine you are now the the winner of some Mountain Ops Ignite and Slumber mm-hmm. what, did, what did Ron say uh, Ron said Brian thank you as always for bringing such a great video the scenery looks fantastic I may never get to go on one of these hunts, but your storytelling makes me feel like I'm right there. The song We Ain't Even Kin hits a special place for me. I have three kids that biologically are not mine, but I raise them as mine, and I'm honored to have them call me dad. Sometimes in life, we are handed a bad hand, but it is how we play that hand that dictates how our life is played. As always, stay gritty, Ron. That's cool. Um, you it's know, a good song. Yeah, for those that don't know, and at, at the end of the la- of of last week's film, we dropped the song "We Ain't Ev- We We Ain't Even Kin" uh, by Benjamin Todd, and the Lost. What is the? I always get it mixed up. The Lost Dog Band, Lost Street Dog Band, <laughs> last. Yeah, got yeah. got to put the street. It's dog. a full sentence. Lost Street Dog Band. It's, yeah. No wonder I can't remember it. You know, yeah, it's it's a long one, but the song. Every time I do a film, if I'm going to use music in a film, and for, for those that have watched for a long time, I try to be very like selective on music. If I put it in, I want it to be music that I listen, I would listen to, even if I wasn't watching a film. Mm-hmm. Like, would I, th- would I rock this in my car or in a certain occasion? Would I listen to this up on the mountain? You know, would I listen to this in the gym? Is, is this a song that that I would listen mm-hmm. to? And there's a lot of music out there, and I go through lots of it, and I kind of pick and choose and sort. And I, I, I really want to expose people to music that maybe they've never heard before, and and then those artists, you know, are able to grow as well as they mm-hmm. as their music is exposed to our audience. And I just like it. And this song, this song is, I think, a meaningful one. Uh, and I only use like a small verse in mm-hmm. the last film, but for those who knew the song, you know, I'm sure it's, it's, it's a meaningful song. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, it's a meaningful it. song, but there's definitely the other verses hit a little harder than this one does. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, mother listened to this one and then she texted me the next day and she said that the verse really made her think about her own life and, and felt there's a lot of wisdom in the song mm-hmm. and, and, uh, that's what I want. I want people when they walk away from, you know, a film to, to be, to have learned some things, to be entertained, to be inspired and to make you think about, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. If you hear music in one of these films, it was put there on purpose. Like we didn't just casually say, let's throw a song in there. Brian, especially <laughs> is the kind of person who likes to think about a decision. Uh, I hate music in films. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, me putting music in films, I feel like it's such a cheat. It it's is. It's such it a is. cheat. Mm-hmm. It, if you put music in film, it's because you weren't good enough to make a good film without music. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out you there. You need music to carry your film. Uh, and it's it's maybe it's judgmental. Maybe Maybe I'm wrong there, but that's... One of my challenges when I'm making film is let's let's try to make this story without any music. Mm-hmm. And if I do add music, 
I want it to be for a specific reason or it has to have, has to be useful, but limited. And that's just my style. That's just how I do it. I'm not saying the other way is wrong. Uh, it's just my taste. But it's super wrong and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> well, Brent has to hear me say. Uh, also, intros <laughs> shouldn't be longer than 45 seconds. You have maybe a five second window I'll on I'll go that. 60 seconds sometimes. Maybe. My but old if you film, play a three minute intro, you're I get a annoyed. I get annoyed. I don't think to convey your idea and whatnot, you don't need a two, three minute song or intro or anything like that. That's just me. Again, um, I I hope you like what we're dropping, but uh, that's that's yeah. how it rolls. We should be the other giveaways. Oh, we should. Okay, yeah. so we have uh, we're we're giving away. We picked two people for sharing the film on Instagram, and the first one is Hush Life Seven Seven Seven, and that's your his Instagram handle. If you do this stuff on Instagram, you're much more likely to get contacted and receive your gifts. <laughs> this is Dan T. Dan T. shared it on Instagram. You are the winner of some Mountain Ops Ignite and some Slumber. And we also picked Aaron Marie. Marie. And she said, enjoying the new Brian Call Gritty episode on YouTube. Pup approved. That is a big dog. That is a... I was going to say pup. That. I didn't see a pup. <laughs> I didn't even. I thought that was. Well, maybe I thought that was a couch arm. I'm assuming that's a big dog. Maybe it's a small TV. No, that's an elk head right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Aaron Marie, you are the winner of some Mountain Ops Ignite and and a Slumber packet as well. We'll get that shipped off. Have you tried, DS, DMS your addresses. Have you try the new Slumber flavors. Yeah, I like salted caramel. Yeah, but Sleepy Chai is still king though. Ah, uh, it depends on my mood. I like sleepy chai a lot. Uh huh. Salted caramel's sweet, sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, but so sometimes, is the cider. sometimes I crave it. I don't like. I don't really. I'm not a cider person. What doesn't matter if it's what it is. I like cold cider. I like it ice cold. Yeah. Well, you get to choose, folks. Sleepy chai. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, Marie, and Dan T. You are the winners. Thanks for sharing our content on your on Instagram. <laughs> And thank you to everyone who shares. Thank you to everyone who has joined us on Locals. We can't tell you how much we appreciate all the support that we get. And it really does motivate us to read your comments. And it gets us excited to keep bringing this kind of content to you. And if you've got any ideas on the podcast scene that you'd like us, things you'd like us to cover, throw those in the comments of the video. Um, for those that don't do podcasts, maybe check one out now and then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Uh, and that's it. Uh, if you want to win the bow, uh, go over to gritty.locals.com and sign up and become a supporter. And we're going to give away that bow on April 19th. And remember, if you like this video, like, comment, share, and you'll be entered to win that new Canvas Cutter Ultralight Bedroll. Check them out at Canvas Cutter. Thanks for tuning in. Stay gritty. Stay gritty.